way to my first appointment of the day and we're heading to I'm actually not sure whereabouts this is I need to like I've got the location but I'm not sure if it's like a salon or something but we're heading to a hair appointment with L'Oreal Pro which is very exciting um, it's the start of Melbourne Fashion Week this week Melbourne Fashion Festival I'm heading later this week on Thursday night I'm heading to a show with L'Oreal Pro so I'm excited to meet the team today go to a hair appointment I was just reading up about it here we're going to have a Dia Gloss and Absolute Repair Molecular Hair Treatment it says that repairs two years of damage in one use so that sounds really interesting I'm really excited to try that out and then get my hair kind of treated and styled for the week and then I've got a few other appointments today so it'll be nice to start the day with fresh hair um, and take you along and just yeah learn about their new hair care treatment so I'm excited so come along and it's a beautiful day here in Melbourne it's sunny it looks really nice so beautiful morning in the city just driving past this is actually where the show is on Friday on Thursday evening I'm so excited Monday morning <laughs> and my Mondays definitely don't usually look like this um, yeah so I had the lovely Sam from L'Oreal who we did this really beautiful gloss my hair feels so silky smooth honestly so healthy and shiny feels so nice and then she did a really great she did literally amazing at just nailed the brief I just kind of wanted to go for really bouncy casual glow out so good and she gave me a few hot tips on how to kind of achieve this one thing I'm gonna take away is I really think I want to buy some hot rollers she just blow dried it and popped it in some clips but she was kind of saying it's obviously really hard to do that on yourself if you're not that good like it's a lot harder with a brush which that's me but I really want to try out some hot rollers to kind of do this more regularly I'm just obsessed with trying out different hairstyles so I think I'm gonna try that out also got some L'Oreal goodies to try out this hair shampoo and conditioner and treatment which sounds really amazing so I can't wait to actually try that out and I'll go over it a bit more with you when I get back and when I get home but I kind of will try that out and then let you know what I think but I'm excited to try that out more products from the professional range which is exciting and now I'm just walking hopefully catch a tram or something um, to my next appointment so my next appointment is at one two agency a PR company and I'm just gonna go and have a chat with them try on and have a look at some of their pieces to see if I want to loan anything for the week for fashion week so it's so sunny here it's so nice I also kind of want to go and get a tea or something just to start the day Craft and I'm gonna try on some pieces try on some outfits very autumn focus this week which I'm loving out uh, this time which I'm loving I'm gonna try and pick out an outfit to wear this week to the fashion show on Thursday so I will try some of these autumn pieces on and show you but I'm actually obsessed the tones the fabrics look at this gorgeous cable knit then I've got this matching like suit set this blazer which is this gorgeous linen 
like a linen blend, but oh, it's beautiful. Classic white shirt. I've got another knit here. It's like a navy knit with gold buttons. So pretty. So I will try all of those on and show you. Okay, first look is this oversized blazer and pants set, which I absolutely loved. I've popped on these boots that I picked up from, um, these are from Whitnap. I picked these up before that I think I'm going to wear to the show, but I love this. I've gone for like standard sizing in the pants. They are a little bit long, so I could probably get those taken up. And then I've gone for like a really oversized size in the jacket. I just think it like looks very fashion, very cool. My hair, putting my hair like this also really wants to make me do this chop. Do you think I should do it? <laughs> Look how long it is. But I kind of am like really inspired to just do a big chop. But I just feel like I'm going to regret it if I do that. Anyways, it would look very cool with this. I'm thinking like nothing underneath this. So like just go very fashion vibes. Next up, gone for this classic shirt. I've just like tucked half in, just done like a little bit of a half tuck. I feel like this is super nice and classic. The fabric is beautiful as well. Like a really nice, smart, it's got darts at the side here. It's quite a tailored fit. This is a size 10, so I'd say it's definitely like a very structured fit. I've kind of sized up to get it a bit baggy. This will be perfect for workwear too. Little knit cardigan. This is such a gorgeous tan color, little cable knit. I've just done like a little one button, but super cute. I actually love this. This will be really nice, like tucked into jeans or like over a dress, like a midi maxi dress. Love this and it would go with everything in my wardrobe. Very, very cute. I, I really like it kind of with this colored pants as well. Okay, another blazer. Wow, this is so nice. Gone for size 10 in this, so I kind of sized up again. I'm kind of into the oversized vibe. So nice. Hopefully you can tell how nice this is in the camera. <laughs> I don't have anything underneath that. I mean, I would probably wear like a little tank or something, but I've just got my little bralette. This fabric, it's kind of like this linen blend tweed sort of look. It's like a natural beige color, but it is stunning. So nice with these pants and boots. I could definitely wear this to the show. Um, as like a blazer look. This is like so good, just casual over like a t-shirt and jeans or workwear. Love. Then I've got on this little knit cardigan. This is the navy one, it kind of looks black. It's got shoulder pads, which I think is so cool for a cardigan. You don't often see that. Also run really big. This is an extra, extra small. So the sizing definitely is bigger. Super cute. I love the gold button detail. Also, how nice is navy with tan? I feel like it's very autumn vibes. Love this. So, so, so cute. This would also look really nice with like a crisp white casual dress underneath. Happy Wednesday guys. I haven't, I didn't pick up the camera yesterday. I had, so got home from Melbourne late Monday night on the train, had the craziest few days. Literally, I'm so exhausted. I can't even keep my eyes open. I probably look so disheveled. Camilla's been a bit sick. She's been teething. So I literally have been like in between fashion week stuff, then home to a sick toddler yesterday, Tuesday. I spent the whole day in bed with her. She just had one of those days where she didn't want me to leave her. Like even when I went to the toilet for two seconds, she was like, mommy. So yesterday was just a really chill day. Last night, Harry and I really struggled. She did not sleep. It was up, down, up, down. So I'm very tired. I'm put together though. I've got my hair and makeup done. I've got quickly got changed. Um, today's a full day of work. I've got, I've got some meetings this morning and I can't remember if I told you guys, but I hired an assistant, which is super exciting. So she's coming to work um, here today from the office. Then we'll just have a few meetings this morning, planning stuff for March, which is super exciting. Then we're hopefully gonna try and do a few shoots this afternoon, some work that I've gotta get done. Before then, I have to head off to Melbourne again tomorrow. <laughs> so this week, it's not like a normal week for me, but it's just one of those busy weeks, trying to fit everything in. And I'm trying my best to just like, not get sick or get overwhelmed or tired. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'll pick the camera up quickly this morning um, and yeah, just planning ahead today. So we're gonna kind of be working on content for the rest of the month and I wanna try and work on being like more planned and organized. I know I've spoken about that a lot on here for my goals for this year. And one goal is consistency and organization.
in like work life but also personal life so that is one thing i'm trying to work on okay so office is all cute and set up i'm actually loving this workspace loving having this little mirror in here and i've got all new autumn vibes on the rack this is a really gorgeous set from Golia. That is a job that I've got to shoot today, hopefully. These are the pieces I picked up from Sportsgraph, which you would have seen in my most recent vlog. These are really cool. So cool for autumn. How awesome is this little like cropped trench? This is from Portman's. Gonna try and shoot this today. It's like a matching set, which that is so cool. Also these boots that I picked up in Melbourne. These are from Whitner. All feeling all the autumn vibes, so. That will be kind of what we're working on today and planning, but I came in here to light this candle. Honestly, I wish you could smell this through the <laughs> through the camera. I've spoken about these so often, but these are from Circa. This is what flavors mango and papaya. Honestly, my favorite. So just finished up for the day. Um, got heaps of March planning done, work, emails and stuff like that. It's, it's a busy one this week and it's not normally this busy and this chaotic, but it's kind of in between fashion week stuff. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I think I did, but Camilla's been really unwell. So it's just been like a real juggle, but we ended up being able to get a heap of work done. We also did a bit of a shoot, so that was good. Now, finished up work, well not fully, but finished up with my assistant for the day. I'm about to go and get my nails done. I need to get a pedicure before tomorrow, before I leave for Melbourne, but, some things are arriving for the show tomorrow night. My outfit still needs to arrive. So this is a bag, I think it's arrived, but I really need my outfit to arrive and I'm a bit stressed. What's the time? It's 2.30 and the tracking, I checked the tracking, the tracking says it should arrive today. So let's hope so. But I'm gonna open this one up so we can see what's inside. Page. We hope you love your new Odette shoulder bag as much as we do. Enjoy the Melbourne Fashion Festival. We can't wait to see how you style her. With love, Rowan and the Subnet. Sub, this is so sweet. Comes in this really cute little bag. Let's open her up. Pretty sure this is a New Zealand brand. I need to check that, but I think this was coming from New Zealand. Oh, beautiful. Hang on, let me put the... So it's this really gorgeous, kind of like over-the-shoulder black leather bag. So this is to go with my outfit for tomorrow night's show. And I wanted to show you... Take that out. Very cool. It comes with two different chain op strap options. So... This one is called the Odette shoulder bag. So I'll link it down below. But it looks like you can pop this chain on. Kind of gives it two looks. I love bags. It's kind of like you're getting two bags in one, which I love. Also, the quality is amazing. So, it just feels so soft, the leather. You can pop it on like this, which is a bit more like of an edgy look, like over the shoulder like that. Or I think I'm gonna go for the all black. It's like a black leather strap. Oh, this is a bit more of like a chunky style. Yes, I love this one. I love that it's got the two options though. That one might be from more of like a dressy. How cool is that? Very casual and like cool, but I'm going for an all black look tomorrow night. I'm wearing my leather boots and this skirt jacket combo, which hopefully it arrives soon. I can't wait to show you. It's going to look so gorgeous. Also, I can't wait to try it on. It's really hard when you're ordering from online and you're picking sizes. So love that. Okay, so I thought I would quickly just share with you my outfit that I'm waiting for it to arrive. And then I can try it on with you when it gets here and we can kind of work out how I'm going to style it. But I'm so excited to be working with this beautiful brand, Sasha Drake. And this is what I'm going to be wearing. So this beautiful skirt, it's not focusing very well. And I've gone for this matching jacket, which the jacket's open here, but it actually closes and it's so stunning. So I'm hoping that it will arrive and it fits and it looks like in the photos, the fabric looks like really textured and beautiful and like very detailed whereas in the photos it kind of can appear like just very thin but i'm hoping that it's going to be this like gorgeous fabric i'm picturing in my head long boots underneath i'm thinking i'm going to go for like a slick bun or maybe hair waved and i might put a bow i feel like a black bow with little diamante details one that i actually wore to the taylor swift concert so i'm thinking i might do like a really casual oh sorry a really like sleek kind of hairstyle either up or if I do it down, I'll put it all off my face and just wave it at the back. 
with a bow. I think it's just like fashion week. I need to do something cute and extra like that, but I'm still going very classic style. Like, you know me, I'm not going to go too far out of my comfort zone, but I think that'll look nice. So cross your fingers. Hopefully that arrives. I will keep you updated. Okay. Little outfit of the day check. And I'm just heading off to get my nails done. Little blazer. This is the one from Sportscraft. Love. It's like this gorgeous like beige linen blend. Absolutely love it. It's very structured at the front too, which I love. I've just popped on some sandals because I hate when you have to wear, when you wear like closed toe shoes to get a pedicure. So yeah, jeans, white tee. It's quite warm outside. So I don't actually know if I need the blazer, but I'm going inside. Then just pop this bag on. Just going to chuck in my wallet and stuff. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping that the postie would have arrived by now. With my outfit for tomorrow, I'm starting to freak out just a little bit. It's okay. He still has a few hours, but oh my gosh, I don't know what to do if it doesn't arrive. I've got to leave on the train tomorrow at like 9 a.m. So there's no way that it would arrive. But I checked the tracking and it says it's in town. Like it's here, it's coming today with the courier. So fingers crossed. Take it away, take it away. Feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Come into Target and I have to say, there's so many cute pieces in here at the moment. That skirt, I've got so many nice blazers. Also, check out these long sleeve tops. I think I'm gonna have to get this color. They feel so nice. They're like a skims kind of dupe. All these different colors. The black, the black's nice actually. This is literally so similar to the dish and my henny skirt actually. I love this. And there's the matching blazer. So good. This, I'm obsessed. Look how stunning this little vest and blazer set is. So pretty. The vest also comes in like this brown color, which I think that's so nice for like workwear. Such good prices as well. Okay, now to the kids section. Do they have, oh, here's a size two. This is so cute for Camilla. This little jacket flowers running I'm not running late but I just need to quickly start getting ready the traffic driving into the city was so busy like there's roadworks going everywhere there's just a million things going on it took so much for me to concentrate just to get here so we've checked in um and it, the trip wasn't too bad I just listened to Taylor Swift all the way all the way here and so that kind of made the made the trip go a bit longer Update on my outfit for tonight. Oh my goodness. I've had the most stressful 24 hours thinking my fashion week, like my outfit for the shows tonight wasn't going to arrive. And it's part of a collaboration for fashion week. So it needed to arrive in time. It was supposed to arrive tomorrow. I called in a favor at Australia Post. So my dad used to work there. He worked there for 40 years and he was able to ring. <laughs> so lucky and grateful. He was able to ring one of his old work colleagues that still works in the parcel um, area and it was already there. I just it was just like hadn't been put in the truck for delivery So I was able to get it this morning. Thank goodness because honestly, I was so stressed and it's a really pretty outfit Like I'm so excited to wear it other than that I was thinking what am I gonna wear last minute? Like I would have had to throw something together So I'm so excited to show you the outfit. It's beautiful very classic very me and I'm gonna wear the boots with it, but I'm just gonna quickly do my makeup now um, I'm gonna go for 
bit more of like a dressy makeup look like very classic but i really want to focus on the eyes and do like some cool eyeshadow i've got this which i haven't opened i got this a few weeks ago at a ysl beauty event that i went to also how stunning is the packaging in this it is so beautiful this eyeshadow palette stunning so i'm thinking i kind of want to do like a dark smoky eye with some of these and like a bit of this shimmer um so i'm gonna try and do that i just literally haven't done anything to my hair and makeup today i just thought i would drive down quickly get here now i'm gonna do my hair and makeup and then get ready. do we need space yeah maybe you're brave boy you're my weakness given we take the love that we make it's my favorite drug too caught up in your love okay checking in from Makeup's done. I've tried really hard to do my hair in a totally different way to normal, like a side part bun with a bow, but I've forgotten to bring bobby pins, which is super annoying. I'm going to have to try and get some. Anyways, <laughs> I will keep you updated if I can manage to get some. I literally only need like one or two, so it's so annoying. I'm trying to go for a bit of a darker lip, so I'm using... The lip color lip liner spice from mac I'll take these earrings out because i think i'm gonna go for a bit more of a bold gold statement earring okay lipstick i really don't know what to go for i've got this honey love from mac which is what i usually go for if i want like a darker lip this is a mecca one down low which is like a matte it's a bit lighter though so i think that might be too light then I've got this YSL Beauty Color Rouge Pearl Lipstick in the color NM, which is a bit deeper. I think I might try this. Oh yeah, that's nice actually. It's very dark. It's a bit more creamier than the MAC because it's very matte. I mean, I think it's nice. I'm just very unsure of this whole vibe because I'm going for something completely different. I think I'll go for this hourglass lip over the top. It's in the color Unreal or Sublime. I think, yeah, Unreal. It kind of will, this is a bit more of a pinky. But it's like a dark pink. I think it will just add something a little on the top. I'm also thinking I should have gone for like a bit of an ombre look and I should put some light in the middle. But I've already done the gloss. Don't know. I'm very unsure. These are the earrings I want to go for too. Gold. Okay, I'll check back in in a moment when we're actually putting the outfit on. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what I found. Oh my god. Okay, I found heaps of bobby pins in my bag. Thank goodness. Just like really needs some tweaking this hairstyle. And it's really hard because I can't really see the back very well. Um, but I'm hoping if I just pin it down a heap, it will stay. I'm also concerned when I go out into the wind, like it's just going to blow. Um, but we will see. Hopefully I can just put a heap of pins. Even if you see the pins, I really don't care at this point. I just want it to stay. I feel like I'm going to a dance recital or something where you put a can of hairspray in and... <laughs> Anyways, we'll see. Hopefully this works. Spray that. I absolutely adore this jacket. It's so me. I love it. With, I think I'm going to go for this classic look. Keep it very pared back. Nothing underneath. I love it. It's this beautiful fabric. Hopefully you can see it in the camera. How stunning as well is the bottom of this jacket. I think it's so nice. Going to add a little bit of bronzer, some gold earrings, just to add a bit of a classic touch. These are just from Levisa. Okay, footwear. I'm wearing these stunning new boots from Whitner. These are so cute and classic. Perfect for autumn. My bag for this evening is this gorgeous black leather over-the-shoulder bag from Sabin. An absolutely gorgeous brand. So excited to be wearing this. I think it looks really cute over the shoulder like this, or even tucked under the arm. A touch-up of lipstick. And to finish off the look, a little spritz. 
So that is my finished look to head to Melbourne Fashion Festival tonight. I'm so excited. I've actually never been before, so I'm so excited to take you along and share with you my experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Final look. Oh, excuse the lighting in here. It's so not great. I'm trying to show you a good look. Um, a good look at my outfit, but I will post some videos and stuff too. And maybe when I get outside, you can see a proper look. But hair and makeup is all done. I've got my gorgeous outfit on. I don't know if you can see... A little bit in the mirror hopefully my hair we can get a good look at it I really tried to go for something different I'm trying to mix it up go for something super classic and sleek hopefully it comes off well in the photos let's go this bag that I shared with you guys is also such a good size too I've got a bit my camera my extra batteries my little tripod sunglasses, all of my lip and makeup touch-up products. So such a good size. So I've just arrived at the fashion festival. It's all happening behind me. I'm just having a little seat waiting. I've had one photo shoot with the photographer and then I'm waiting to meet another one in about 15 minutes. So really just cool to like be here, soak up the atmosphere, check out some of the outfits. Honestly, some of the outfits people are wearing, like incredible. I saw this guy before. I wish I knew his Instagram or something. He had this stunning pink maxi dress, like flowy dress, incredible. So it's just really cool to see like people dressing up, what people kind of, the way people style things because if you can't be like creative and wear whatever you like at a fashion week festival thing, like where else can you be creative? I love it. I just feel so inspired and it's very cool. Also, how stunning is the exhibition building? Definitely my favorite building in Melbourne. It's so beautiful, classic. It's also such a nice night here, so I feel very happy to just be sitting here soaking it up. I'm also gonna meet one of my friends just before the show and hopefully we can get some photos or videos of each other as well. I filmed a little like get ready with me TikTok and Instagram reel that I'm gonna share. So if you haven't checked that out, go and check it out. It was just like a kind of a video of me getting ready and I'll post some stuff here so you can actually see my outfit in full. Um, but yeah, can't wait to share more.